Check out the clips from this episode at InsideCouture.com. Let's talk about fashion on Twitter at Inside Couture. Go to Inside Couture on Facebook and click like to show your support for Inside Couture. Join Inside Couture with the launch of MIFE, made in fashion and entertainment. The mission of MIFE is to inspire you, educate you, and connect you with the star makers of fashion. Our guest, Irene Marie, the founder of Irene Marie Models, one of the most successful and long-lived modeling agencies in America. Inside Couture, the inner rings of fashion. Hi, we're here with um, Irene Marie, and this is Anna Kraft with Inside Couture, and we're going to see the MIFE convention, and let's um, have a little talk about what you're going to be doing here tonight. I'm just going to be speaking about a model's uh, first three years, that is if she's lucky enough to make three years, and uh, giving some advice, wisdom, and experience. You know, I've been in the industry for over 30 years, and basically my uh, reputation was built on discovering and developing younger models in their teens, and I had five children of my own too, so that's always kind of been my passion, is mentoring and teaching and talking and of course creating top models too. Beautiful and I also see that you've um, ventured into the bag line and you've got a fabulous one back here and can you tell us a little bit about that and your inspiration on it? Well I retired in 2009 and I was inspired to make these bags that I called angel bags and they're all made out of feathers and they have semi-precious stones for handles and um, I really had designed one for myself and I was stopped all the time in the street people asking me what is that bag where's that bag from and finally a friend of mine said why don't you make those you know sometimes that's just just how things happen well yeah. it's divine and I'm sure every woman would love to have one and a perfect accessory for every outfit right well I, I think that every woman should carry an angel on her bed on her oh, arm anyway I don't you it. yes absolutely <laughs> well we look forward to hearing from you and seeing um what you have to teach the young ladies out there and all their um, ambitions and and their dreams to see what they can do to come true. Yeah, well, It's going to be fun and I'm really happy to be here and honored to be here too. Irene, tell us what some tips are that you can give these young women that are trying to make it into business here in Miami. Well, I really truly believe that the most important factor is the agency that you're with. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of agencies out there. And I also believe in teach young people and everybody that there is an inner knowledge of what's right and wrong and what's best for you. However, in the modeling business, there's a lot of words going on. How beautiful you are. I can make you into a star. You're wonderful. You're going to be the best model. And all the intentions behind those words are not always the best. So what I like to advise my models and their parents, because a lot of them are with their parents, they're very young, is that don't let your ego be your judgment. Let your gut be your judgment. And know, even if the, you, you see different agencies, go with the one that just felt that they were the right one, the honest one, the loyal one. And once you pick one, and this is the hardest thing for a model to do, stick with them. Because if they do a good job, and if your career begins to develop, there's going to be all the vultures in the world out after you trying to tell you how much better they can do than the agency that has done what they've done so far. And there, once again, the ego gets involved and they start saying, well, maybe I could be doing a cover or I could be doing campaigns and my agency isn't having me do that yet. And understand that loyalty integrity defines who we are as people, they define the work that we do, and they also will define the success that you can have. Be loyal and have integrity in everything that you do, but in modeling also. So when you find that agent, stick with them and trust them and believe them. So you don't recommend doing more than one agency? As a well, uh, my career was, I was an exclusive agent mm -hmm. because I believe that when you multi-list, which in a, in a market 
market like Miami, there are uh, models that do that and there are different agencies. But if you're multi-listed with an agency, they're not going to do a lot of work for you because they know that whatever they do for you, work in development and management and guidance, whatever they're going to do for you, someone else can profit from because you're with three or four different agencies. So I always believed in exclusivity. Then you have a relationship and a partnership between the agency, the bookers, and the models. And you're all working together for a common goal. And everybody in that agency should be giving everything they have to teach you, to educate you, to groom you, and to make you a better model. So I believe in one agency. I think so too. Yeah, that sounds like good advice. Um, What are some red flags that they should the girls going out when they meet scouts what are some things that um they should be careful about because you hear about the scams and the the people that are out just looking for girls and i'm not sure what what well let me let me say this the modeling industry and the entertainment industry talent fashion fashion and singing there are scams in all of it there are scams everywhere in life so again you have to learn how to be a good judge of other people and it's hard to always do that intellectually because the intellect is oftentimes governed by the ego Mm -hmm. and the ego hears what it wants to hear and people who are scams know how to use that so what you've got to do is get the facts look up the history of people look up the history of the organization online it's so easy now isn't it you can find everything out online look up the the information about the uh, scout the agency whoever it is that's approaching you see what they've accomplished see who they are do your homework study up on them and then at the end of the day because there may be more than one there may be multiple people use your intuition and your gut to go with the person that you feel is the one you can trust the most. Do you find that Miami is a more difficult industry than the other cities um, around the nation when it comes to the modeling for the young women? Well, um, Miami is unique. I mean, the major modeling cities in the United States are New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Chicago, major. Yeah. Major markets. That's them. Miami is unique in that it is imports all its business. In the other markets, you have clients who are there, doing their business there. You've got an amount of work, you have a possibility, a potential for an amount of work, and you go out and you bang the, the sidewalk and you try to find it. Here, most of our clients are imported. We bring them here. Mm-hmm. So first of all, it's only during a certain period of the year that there's the biggest opportunity for models. Um, so it, as, in, as in the industry, oftentimes it's not just one market. You do want to be in multiple markets. For the top fashion model, she wants to be in Miami, she wants to be in Paris, she wants to be in Milan, probably in London also. So those are the markets that she's going to be with. If she's veering towards uh, acting, she's going to want to be in L.A. too to open up those doors also. For Miami, what's advantageous about Miami is that, one, you can become a big fish in a No, uh, yeah, big fish in a small sea, however you say that. And because it's not quite as competitive as some of the other markets, you can get more attention, you can get more help in developing. And the flip side of that is that you don't have quite as much opportunity. So Miami has its, you know, has its good uh, qualities, its good reasons to be here and to spend some time here too. That sounds like some great tips for um, all you aspiring models out there. And um, good luck to you. And hopefully you'll have all the advice you need going forward. My pleasure. Thank you so much. And I'm really happy to be here and to be supportive of Tyrone. He's a wonderful human being and a great, great businessman. Hi, my name is Irene Marie, and you're watching Inside Couture. Fashion is deep.